What's up everyone, Dylan here, and today we're gonna to be talking about influencer media packets or media kits. We're gonna talk about what they are, what's in them, and how influencers use them to price their services. Now, if you like the content in this video and on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button because I make videos about how influencers make money on social media. Let's dive in. So a media kit is a document that outlines information about a social media pages, following their metrics, their engagement rate, and any other details that a brand would need to know in order to pay them for a sponsorship. It could be how many views they get on average of a video, followers across all platforms, or any information just like that. In a good media kit, there should be information about the social account, important numbers like follower counts, demographics, including the age, gender, and location of followers, as well as case studies of past campaigns, sample posts, and other brands that you previously worked with. If you're making a media kit, you should make sure that your pricing info is there, the packages you're offering, and how much it would cost for uh, something like a story versus a feed post or for several posts over a period of time. As an influencer, how much should you be charging for these brand deals? Since a media kit includes important information about how much your brand deals cost and what's included as far as like quantity, you need to know how to effectively price them. And it varies a lot depending on platform, typically with YouTube being the most expensive and Instagram and TikTok falling behind. Let's show you how you can actually price your brand deals effectively. One place a lot of creators start is just by Googling how much they should charge for a brand deal. The problem is that there's no fixed amount that you could just charge across the board. Depends on engagement rate, what your industry is, how many followers you have, what platform, what the brand is. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And so you can't really just determine how much you're gonna charge based on Google or based on what someone else says. I think one of the best ways to determine your price point is to either ask brands what they're willing to pay and figure this out just by trial and error, or ask other creators in your industry what they're charging for brand deals and kind of do the math to determine how much bigger or smaller they are than you and then what you could price your own sponsorships at. Here's an example of a media kit. Generally, it's a simple two-page document that outlines the creator's follower account, their view metrics, a little bio about them, and pricing for posts. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, it just needs to display the info that brands need in order to make a sponsorship decision. In this case, I would have liked a little bit more design elements and less text, but overall, it's a good media kit. All right, now that you know what a media kit is and what's included in one, you can go ahead and make one. It's not as hard as you might think. You don't need any kind of graphic design experience. All you have to do is go to one of the sites like mediakits.com and you can connect your social accounts and it makes one for you. Or if you have experience, you could use templates on a site like Canva and just plug and play the info. So that's kind of how you make a media kit. Now you can start making money on social media and level up your game. If you guys like this content, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next episode.